Let us read in the book of uh, Psalms 27. For the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, writer of this holy word. Amen. Let us read together Psalm chapter 27. Amen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I will fear no one. The Lord protect me from all danger. I will never be afraid. Amen. When evil men attack me and try to kill me, they stumble and fall. And fall. Even if a whole army surrounds me, surrounds me, I will not be afraid. Even if enemies attack me, I will still trust God. I have asked the Lord one. I, 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 I have asked the Lord for one thing. One thing only I do want. To live in the Lord's house all my life. To marvel, to marvel there, there at his goodness. And to ask for his guidance. In times of trouble, he will shelter me. He will keep, keep me safe in his temple and make me secure on a high rock. I will triumph over my enemies around me. Hallelujah. With shouts of joy, I will offer sacrifice in his temple. I will sing. I will praise the Lord. Hear me, Lord, when I call you. Be merciful and answer me. When you said, come and worship me, I answer it. I will come. Lord, don't hide yourself from me. Amen. Don't be angry with me. Don't turn your servant away. You have been my help. Don't leave me. Don't abandon me. Oh God, my Savior. My father and mother may abandon me, but the Lord will take care of me. Hallelujah. Teach me, Lord, what you want me to do. Amen. That must be our prayer. Teach me, Lord, what you want me to do. And lead me along a safe path. Amen. Because I have many enemies. Oh Lord, don't abandon me to my enemies who attack me with lies and treats. Oh Lord. I have that I will live to see. I know, sorry. Verse 18. I know that I will live to see the Lord goodness in the present life. Trust in Lord, have faith, do not despair, despair, trust in the Lord. May the Lord God Almighty bless this scripture as we read it in us because we are living in the spiritual dimension which is the seventh dimension that allowed our beloved before us, those when they return back home, to go and rest in, in the sixth dimension. They are waiting for us as we written it is in the French because we are teaching it in French. Firstly, we said we want to read it in English also. You see, the repos de saints mean the rest of saints. All the saints, those when die in Christ, to go straightly here is the scripture we came to read is tells us straightly and clear the rest the house of the lord the remain is here but before we go to remain in this house in this sixth dimension that life you must have it here as we are remaining here that's why we are coming here with the keys those keys will receive it from the prophet because god 
as we said, manifested himself in every ages. You see, in the time of Moses, as giving an example last time, God came as Moses. You listen on what Moses tells you, listen to God. You reject Moses, you reject Almighty God created heaven and earth. When God made flesh, is the time the believer must be manifested. Those who have been in him before the foundation of this world. But if you didn't recognize the force of God in the human being, prophet, God sent it to you, you'll be loosed completely. It's like you are inside of the forest. When we are inside the forest, we doesn't have someone who knows very well the forest who can guide us. As we read, we're reading here, we're reading here, we just come to read in the book of Psalms chapter 27. If we does not we don't have someone who can guide us in the forest. Uh, for example, we can get the great forests of um, uh, forest of uh, Ecuador. That is a, a, a forest equatorial. That is in Congo. Congo have a big forest. That's a very big with the the trees, you cannot even see this, the, the sky. You see, you cannot even see the sea. Uh, what I can say, well, the sea, no, the, the sun. Even the moon during night. You see, during the day, you can see uh, the day, but you cannot see because there is the, the, the big trees. The, those big trees, they are so long. And you are there, there, is, there are many animals, dangerous as inside there. If you can, you can go in the forest of uh, Amazonia, you must have also someone who must guide you. It's the same thing spiritually. Spiritually, we must have a prophet God send it in the time we are living. And that prophet is the one, as we, we follow it last time, there we are here. Well, what happened? Let me go straight into the quotation to understand. It was in the United States that time the prophet was alive because he's still alive with us. You remember what we just come to preach in French, to preach in French uh, right now. We took the book of Matthew chapter 27. When Jesus Christ went to the mountain of transfiguration, he took with him Peter, John, and James. He went with them. Those three means faith, love, and hope. He took two of them, he went with them in the mountain of transfiguration where the Lord God spoke with him in the cloud. So inside of the cloud, Peter, Lord God opened the eyes of Peter to see the people was together with the Lord Jesus Christ. I read it in the book of Matthew chapter 17, we just come to read it here, where we were talking about adoption. Because those things we came to tell you are to prepare you to be adopted by God himself. Remember in the book, in the Old Testament, not in the book, in the Old Testament, on the law of Moses gave to them, there is law of adoption. It means uh, adoption came from God himself. In the Old Testament, they were doing that if the son or daughter of this father follow what father and mother they are telling him to do in his life go to school do this well at like this don't well at like that don't speak like this don't respond like this and this kid if he's following what the parents is telling him you see he will be there uh, what i can say a considerable son or daughter so he will be appreciated by his pair or her parents. So the parents, they will organize the ceremony of adoption. It will call the people, the elders. And the elders, they will come with the priest on that time as they were leaving. They call them the sea. No, we have, is it the time we want to do the ceremony of adoption of our daughter or our son because he followed the laws and the rules all the things was telling him he stand on it and even the teacher was coming to teach him he was falling on uh, on letter you see everything they were teaching to him so 
we get a good report from our son or our daughter that push us to organize this ceremony of adoption so we can make him to be on our uh, uh, inheritance to take over all uh, to take responsibility all the things we have you see all your father have if the father did have a company he said no from today he calls even the workers they are there saying, no from today my daughter or my son took responsibility of everything if you saw him came here you see him came in the company it means it me you see everything he will do is it me i did it if he did he sign something he send that letter to you consider that letter as me i send it to you you see because that son or daughter will not fail or do something wrong regarding on what God observed, uh, what I can say, his father, his parents observed to him during that day when he was growing. You see, he didn't stay as a child. Most of the people are still child. They want always to be behind of churches, sitting in the, the sitters, you see, and uh, be there listening only. So the time we are living, we have a guy. So that man came to guide us as a prophet tells us we have to reach that high level as the bride of Jesus Christ because we've been born in the kingdom of the Lord. So let us return there on what happened on that mountain of transfiguration when the Lord Jesus Christ been adopted because he must follow himself. The law being rated by the prophet that being announced is coming. You see, he cannot do the thing contrary on what he did, tells them to come and pronounce, prophesy, you see, which is the word, might, mighty word of God. You see, all the prophet was prophesied regarding the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's supposed not to come and do something wrong, contrary on what them said, because it was thus said the Lord. Remember when John the Baptist says to the, to the Lord Jesus Christ, when they were communicated spiritually, he said, Lord, I'm not the one I'm supposed to, to baptize. And you said, no, John, you are the prophet. The word said from the prophet Amos, the word uh, came from the prophet. I'm the word. You see, regarding to the scripture, I'm also the lamb, as the prophet Isaiah says. And the lamb as a sacrifice cannot be brought to the altar of God, you see, without being passed by the priest. And the priest is, is, is the prophet of God. John, you are the one because you, you, you replace your father, Zachariah, who was the prophet of God of the age. So you are the one who must take me as a lamb, you see, to be sacrificed. From God and pay the price of sins. The transgression the uniquities. You see, you are the one. As I'm the word of God made flesh regarding the book of John. You see, as a, well, you read in the book of Isaiah chapter 61, this is scripture fulfilled. And that scripture fulfilled was the Lord Jesus Christ made flesh. You understand? You see, John, you are the one you must baptize me. I cannot come by myself. You see, because the word of God came from the prophets. Do you understand? So that day we see the adoption. You see, and the Lord Jesus Christ, when he presented there, two people was appear with him there in that mountain. And God opened the eyes of Peter, disciple of, disciple of Jesus Christ, and recognized Moses and Elijah. You see. That we come to talk this morning as we start this chapter of to, to be taken away, the rapture. You see, it's most very important. You must prepare yourself in the time we are living. Do you understand? You cannot wait another time because we're going to read it before we finish here. As we promised to you last Sunday, we're going to read it in the book of Revelation. Because in this scripture a uh, picture we put here you can see even to written in french but some of the word you can understand like the judgment is still the same to written on the same way you see 
And the judgment here, we have to avoid this judgment because the Lord Jesus Christ said in the book of John, chapter 5, verse 24, he says, those when they keep my word and they recognize who send it to me, they will not pass by the judgment. Remember this, the, what I can say, the source of the judgment, you see, is what is the wrong interpretation of the scripture, which is started in the beginning here. Do you understand? Why it started in the beginning? It was the time. Because, let me explain something. That is very important. In the book of Genesis chapter 1, it was the creation. God created heaven and earth. You see, God started to create the angel, all the spiritual creatures, the great creatures that are there. So God, when he started, created here, it was the supernatural life. God created the souls of us. You see? And the spirits came after. We'll explain it next time. You see, it's very important also to know all of those things. So by the Genesis chapter 1, God created everything. Then he did create men. When God created men, men was a female was male and female. It means the woman was inside of men. In the creation, God didn't yet took away a woman. In the creation, the book of Genesis chapter 1, if someone read it, can tell us. The scripture says God created men and women. It means he created men only and it was inside of a, a, a female a woman was inside of men. But when we came in the book of Genesis chapter 2, there God did all the things here. Do you understand? The seas, the oceans, the rivers, uh, everything, the trees here in this world, we can see we are surviving here with it. And he put also men there and when he brought men in the deep uh, what he was asleep, what I can say, uh, the scripture says the word went away, but you can understand when did men sleep, God took one ribs of men and formed a woman. You see, the time the woman being took away from the men, it was that time. So in the beginning, there was one as the scripture tells us we must be one again because the, we was discussing about the, the polygamy. We says the Lord Jesus Christ in the book of Matthew chapter 19 says in the beginning, beginning it was not like this. In the beginning God created one man and one woman because the woman came from one man. But all of those things we'll explain it next time regarding polygamy, what, what. But the scripture says something is clear. You see, it was not many, it was one, one, you see. So from there, we understand in Genesis chapter 3, the devil who been chased from heaven by powerful angel Michael, Michael, he came down here, he goes straight to the church, which is woman. Woman represented church in the scripture, in the Bible. When the Bible says about woman, we must understand directly. When the Bible says in the book of Revelation chapter 17 regarding the prostitute, that woman prostitute sitting on some uh, seventh mountain, it's a church, a great church. That church have a great name, controlling all churches in the world, you see. And they gave, gave them his cup of wine. Wine is a power of seduction to take them away from the perfect will of God. So they went to do Covenant with the deaf covenant here. The deaf came from where? Came from Genesis chapter 3. You see? May remember, but remember in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 2, Lord by his life, love gave them a, com a command. Said to them, you can eat all the fruit of the different trees are here, but you cannot Touch the fruit of the tree of acknowledge. That it was a woman that, because a woman, she is a tree who got the nice fruit, you see. 
the fruit of pleasure. You can understand that because you are preaching the word of God, you cannot go on those uh, definitions of all of those things. But you can understand, you see. And when the scripture says regarding the fruit who was in the middle of the tree, you can check in the body of woman, check which fruit is in the middle of his body, you will understand directly. You see, those ones that the revelation is the things being sealed. But when God sent his prophet in the hand time, Brother Branham tried to explain that in the book of what uh, uh, the seed of serpent, in the daily what I can say, uh, when he preached regarding the seed of present. You see, so you did understand the death came when the script had been transcribed, transcribed. You see, when the Satan came with the wrong interpretation of the scriptures, it took them away from the perfect will of God. So from then, in Genesis chapter 3, verse 16, God said, man must dominate over woman. I put you to be on top after woman, then the rest of animal and the rest of creatures. You see, that's the devil came today to change it and to say all of things, you know, the organization of these worlds are telling us with our governments, you see? But let us come back to understand why the death, which is the judgment took place on us. It was when the scripture being broken, when the people do the, com the they did compromise with the scripture, who brought the, com uh, the compromise? It was the devil. Do you understand? So the Christ came with life. You see? It gave us one an example in the mountain of transfiguration for us to be adopted. Do you understand? So when we, we will be abducted, abducted, so we have nothing with this judgment as we're going to read in the book of Revelation chapter 20. Did you get me? So, as if you, we, we can understand the origin, the beginning of death, the death started to wear because the Lord God did put them there in the Garden of Eden. They didn't have nothing with death. They didn't have nothing with this cloth because this cloth is the cloth of a shemit. Did you understand? It's the cloth of a shemit. It came when when they fell because they, they was not naked they came naked how how did it came naked they did came naked when they reject the command of god that said the lord you must touch all the fruit but those fruit wait until i will allow you to touch it wait until i will allow you when i will allow you that would be the moment so you will eat the fruit. It belongs to you, Adam. Those fruit is in this tree. That tree comes from you, one of your ribs. You see, that ribs is a woman. It was inside of man in the creation in the Genesis chapter 1. I took her out from Genesis chapter 2. It belongs to you, but be patient because God wanted them there to reach this dimension, this level i can see you see the perfect love which is jesus christ it's written in french but let me explain to you it means seigneur means lord jesus christ amour parfait means perfect love saint esprit means holy spirit you see all those level we can pass it i will put it in i will put it there so you're gonna see it when before you 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 listen to the, the the what i can say the word of god you're gonna put it there in english i'm gonna put that picture this picture i'm gonna put it in english i'm so sorry i'm gonna, gonna put it for you because i'm here as your instrument you understand you are so you are so precious as sons and daughters of god i'm i'm a servant i'm a instrument of god i must do what you want you understand i'm there for you if you are not there I'm nothing. What must I do? I cannot preach this word in the trees. The dogs and cats cannot listen to me. 
is for you. If you dispose your time, you give time to listen on what we are saying here, we save one another. May the Lord God bless you. So we're going to put it, that's why I'm, I'm, I apologize. I, I put French here. I'm going to put the English just in the beginning of, the, as a picture that represented this uh, time, this we are preaching now. You see? So they, they support to reach they're supposed to reach here. That's what the Lord went. He made, he formed them. He put them in the Garden of Eden. He wanted them to pass here by faith, by the virtue, by uh, uh, acknowledge of Christ. Uh, this is uh, all of those things you'll see. They say the patience till they will reach here. That understand. It means the dispensation of winners. They're supposed to reach here the thousand years. Remember, Adam and Eve, they didn't reach the thousand years. Why? Because they fell. They, start, they just arrived somewhere else. They fell. It's the same things with the people here with the churches. All the people are failing. Why? Because of popularity, because of money. When you have too much popularity for you to know, those ones that belong to God, they are those one they've been in God before the foundation of this world that we just come to read here in the book of Ephesians chapter 1. Do you understand? Those one he knows them before the foundation of this world, you must preach the hard things. Because the message is to start eating the, uh, the meat until the bone. You must eat the bone. You see? Until you finish someone can listen to you say, no, this one has a strong teeth. You see, you cannot just uh, be there like babies. They have two babies you have with so many believers here that are babies. They're still babies. That is the life of churches. They want to keep them in the denomination. That is the system the devil started in the beginning here. Tell, came with the comp. Uh, to, to, to tell them to compromise so to, they can build something that it can make them to remain there. As the example we can give with the, the disciple for Christ, when Peter was a disciple for Christ, when they went in the mountain, he saw Moses and Elijah. When God opened him his eyes, he did have again the mind of temples of the, the churches, Christ, the building, all of the, the churches. No, not the church of Christ. The church is in the, the building of the people. It was a building. We let us build something for God, but God himself is not there because they reject the way. They reject the will of God, the perfect will of God. Because of what? Because of, they lack the compromise to keep the popularity and to be rich. The reason is money. Does it to be? Because you are there meeting with the president, the ministers, the prosecutor, the great people of the country, they respect you as a great pastor as that because you have a big church. But you are unable to communicate to those people the baptize of Holy Ghost for you to help those people to be born again in the kingdom of God. Is it impossible? Do you understand why it's become impossible? Because the devil is waiting for you here. When you pass the first step, is there. He try you. If he didn't win you, on the second steps, it will be there. When you've reached the seventh, you consistent, consistent, you'll see Christ came and dwell as it's written in the book of John chapter 14. So the rapture to be taken away is not something... Just you have to wait as the people tells you when Jesus will come, we sit in heaven. No, no, that's when the prophet went in the mountain, the cloud came, Christ came. It was in America because the promise was it will move from east and to be revealed to the west. That is what the promise and that promise made uh, uh, fulfilled already because it's been written in the book of uh, Luke 17. It's right, written there. But the people try to bring many doctrines, those who can brought the believers away and standing stay like slaves while Christ came to set us free. 
one another by his word because the patriarch of Christ at the price. Remember, all the denominations under the suns in the world wide, there is no one, the, the, what I can say, the master himself, the owner, paid the price of his own life to save his people, his sons and daughters. You see? So, if we did understand that happened in the beginning, the death was not there. The death Supposed not to take place if they did stand in the command of God. When they listen to the devil, you see, the woman opened his sense, this sense of here. When she does open it, the devil, what he did, he brought her to start reasoning in the word of God. When they start reasoning, so that one brought the spiritual energy, that spiritual energy connected with the five cents of sense of this body and start producing pleasure feeling of pleasure in their brain and so from there that is then the same way it's happening with us you can what i can say assist that on the tv you can talk or say that on the woman and you produce something on her she starts laughing and she give her body to you easily but you know yourself for that I'm telling you I'm lying to her. If you are honest man, sometimes you're telling her the truth, but as long as she was already discovered by another man, another man, so those men, they put already something wrong on her. It's become difficult. It's, she's become like someone over it. Do you understand? So it's become kind of difficult for her to understand, uh, to know the good who God can give to her as a husband. Do you understand? So the same thing happened that the devil came with liars. Because he knows if I able to introduce that, that woman, because as long as that woman, she's a female part of that man, I will be, I will be able to take that power God gave to his son Adam. That power we needed to be back to us because Christ paid already the price of this for us to take, to return back in the Garden of Eden to be as God. Do you understand? To be as God because this word he gave to us is himself. As the prophet Branham says, the strong weapon God gave to his sons and daughter is himself, this word. Remember, God pronounced himself. God believed in himself for him to create it, heaven and earth. The first time he didn't take something, no. He pronounced the word. Thus said the Lord, let the light be and it. Do you understand that? So, if you did understand the origin of death, while God left them, there's a lesson on what I'm telling you. Remember an example I gave to you regarding adoption. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ being abducted himself, who came, manifested Almighty God in flesh that day, it did follow what the prophet says regarding the law of God pronounced by the prophet Moses, the law of adoption. He walked regarding the perfect will of the Father. He didn't compromise on the left or right. He didn't give the wrong interpretation of the scripture. He was giving the right interpretation on everything. It means the way he was working, one of it of his work, he worked with, just said the Lord, with himself. You understand? So when the time of adoption arrived, he went to the mountain and the voice says, this is my son, my beloved son, listen to him. But remember, the spirit of church was inside of Peter, says, Lord, if you can allow me, I can build three tents, like temple, like churches, one for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. No, those ones, they came to represent us. 
Moses came to represent the saint who died in God's word from Adam to John the Baptist. Do you understand? So Elijah came to represent the saint of the time we are living, those ones are waiting for to be taken away. They are waiting for the rapture. The, the rapture when the bomb and the weapon, the nuclear weapon will be come to destroy this world. We will not be here as we read in the book of Second Peter chapter 2. No, chapter 3. From verse until the last verse. We read it last Sunday. Remember what we read. You see, it was for us to understand this world reserved for fire. This world, the only thing it will gonna stay is the health. Because when God created the, the health, he said is perfect, is good. So all the things that is we put over all this earth, health, it will be destroyed. Do you understand? So on that time, we're gonna be taken away. So Elijah represented us. That day in the mountain with the Lord Jesus Christ, it was us, the saint of the end time, we're going to be in the rapture. As Elijah been taken away. It's the same things with Enoch. Before Noah, before the time of Noah happened, it happened what happened? With, because there have been two prophets of God, Enoch and Noah. To understand, but if you you read, you count the generation from Adam until no no not Adam. You start by Seth. After Cain kill Abel, you will see. If you start by Seth, you read in the Bible until Enoch. You will see seven generation. It means seven churches. That is in written in the book of Revelation chapter two until chapter three from verse one verse 14 to verse 19. If you read from chapter 2 of Revelation verse 1 until chapter 3 verse 14 to 19 you see what I'm saying the seventh church age. So the church age you can read here. It's like the time we are living it started by Paul. Apostle Paul he came to restore you see he came to preach so the last, the seven one, Brother Balaam came as a prophet of God. As we said, the word of God came by the prophet. Paul was a prophet too. We see all of them, they came, and we put the picture there. You'll see when Brother Balaam came, it was the seven. We cannot keep us in the Laodicean. Because this, is the, this, church, uh, this age fell. It took us away from here for us to be adopted in Christ here. Is the rapture. Him, he came as Elijah of Malachi 4. Barabana. He came with the spirit of Elijah as John the Baptist came with the spirit of Elijah in the book of Malachi chapter 3. Do you understand? So Malachi chapter 4 is the prophet of Branham. When he came, he said, I cannot keep you in this age. You fell completely. You are in the church of bride of Christ. We are that high level. Why Christ came and communion built the same body, which is the mystical body of Christ, where we go and pray God in the spirit of truth is there. Do you understand? Regarding the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. You see? So, from there, the death, the judgment fell. John chapter 5 verse 24 took place. They will not pass again by the death, they have nothing to pass by the judgment because they pass from the death to the life. That's why all the saints that dying, they passed away in Christ as we are, they have nothing with the time here because all of those dimensions are in time. Devil is here in fifth dimension, hand. You see? So when the saints passed away from this dimension, the first one in this world, you have nothing here to have with here. You cannot go to the hell. If they have nothing to wait for the judgment, which is it will be with the second death. You see, just this death. If it, it died now before the, the the Lord Jesus Christ came or before this fire came, it will be reach this sixth dimension where there is 
center here because the rest which is the sixth dimension he did get get the rest got the rest from here when he was here which is the baptisms of Holy Ghost. Do you understand that? So the reason why we came here to prepare one another for you to recognize the sound of the trumpet. You have to recognize the voice of angel, which is the seventh angel, the last one. Is there an example of Enoch? Enoch in the book of Genesis. The first, he returned back home without passing by the death. This is rep represented the raptures. Do you understand? And Elijah, we see he didn't pass by the death. Is the example two of the came to represent the saint of Old Testament and those one for the New Testament after the death and the uh, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Do you understand that? Is it very important for us to prepare? Is it the time for for us to repent ourselves? Don't keep something in you. Is it time to prepare you to, to be honest with God? If you are not honest with yourself, you cannot be honest with God. You must get in inside some by time. As the Lord Jesus Christ came, if you want to pray, you must get in inside of your room and pray God Almighty will listen to the secrets. He will answer you. And the first secret is not only your room. The first secret place is it your heart. Talk inside of your heart yourself, say the Lord. The time is so bad. If we read on the news, we assist everything on the news as they are saying. All the things that are happening, all the bad spirits are coming from the fifth dimension. Send it by devil here to come and destroy us here. Do you understand? The way the peoples are waiting. Remember, I just come to tell you here, this is a shamed world. Because they didn't... Uh, uh, there, there was not uh, wearing that uh, the veil of lust, this one, but they did wearing the veil of glory, as we said last time. The veil of glory, it was with them before they fell, before the transgression, before the, 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 what is the, 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 the compromise, which is the devil brought to them. Now understand. So the Lord tell them, remain there until you reach uh, thousand years, the dispensation of winners. You see, so from there you are in ju jubilee. You see, and when you reach your jubilee, you celebrated something. We are celebrating something that you can say jubilee. You see, like one park we have here in uh, South Africa, we can call it a jubilee park. You see, that jubilee park, we are celebrating something we win. That's why we say Jibuli, yes, you celebrate it and you get rest. From there, the death is supposed not to have a place. You see? But the people today, to keep their popularity, to be reached, all of those things, and to be in that level, and the shoulders are always like this, you see, with the nice jacket, they came down here in the throne of Satan to compromise. And they took the power of death to come here with the wrong interpretation. So all the people, they can remain here and they will have a problem with the judgment, with the second death, which it will kill your soul. You see? Better to don't, to, 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 to don't have a problem with the first death. Because the first death is the, the death of this envelope. You see, because this one, when they felt the Lord say, you are dust, you must return on the death, on the dust. You see, so we're supposed to return there. That is a way, you see, because remember even Elijah, when he'd been taken, uh, take, taken away, the Bible say the envelope of this body fell. <laughs> Do you understand? Regarding the scriptures, the only one, rose up with his body become the glory body is the lord jesus christ but remember in the book of Romans chapter 8 the bible says if we receive the spirit of god that spirit rose up christ unto the death we will be like him we will already in the heavenly place 
that we came to preach you, you must have it in you already. So this is time is the time to confess and to put our life correctly in His will, perfect will of God, so we can say we are we are in communion with the saints that are here. When we are in the church singing the song of Zion, we are with them singing the same song. When we are preaching in family, in our room, we are in this dimension with the saint singing the same songs of Holy Spirit. Do you understand? So to avoid what we're going to read here and finish in the book of Revelation chapter 20, you must prepare yourself here because before you get in, in this march with Christ, you must start firstly confess before the repentance. That is it we says you did a authentication repentance. Because most of us, we are still keeping something. Because of what? If I do that, I will suffer. If I do that, I cannot buy a nice dress, a nice clothes, a nice shoes. I cannot appear with uh, nails of dragons. I will not uh, have a nice hair, all of those things. No. If this body being created to, by God, how much that God, if you keeps his word and his will in you, this perfect will, you will, if is Jehovah Jara who provide for us to understand that are you always brought for those who the have faith. So let us read. That is reserved for this world and the people, those are rejecting the word of God. Those that are rejecting the perfect will of God in the time we're living, they did the compromise. Do you understand? Mm. So we are reading here and we finish. So we'll continue it by the grace of God. Next Sunday, let us read quickly. Revelation chapter 20. Yes, we read it for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, holding in his hand the key of the abyss and a heavy chain. It says the dragon, it's a rosary, the dragon, that ancient serpent that is the devil or Satan. You see, the ancient serpent. That we talk in the beginning, the Garden of Eden. Amen. Hallelujah. Satan, serpent, devil, shen, shent him up for a thousand years. Dispensation of winner, millennium. Let us continue. That's why they didn't totalize millennium because they fell and the death took place. By what? from the wrong interpretation of the scripture. You see, the problem we have today in the worldwide, the reason is that if a good pre uh, preacher stand there, he will preach the things, those that will stay in the church, they will be the, 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 the real believer. The, those when they've been elected before the foundation of the world, they were the one they're gonna, like Jesus Christ, he might pull the breads and the fish, Tomorrow the people come again to eat the bread and fish from heaven. He said to them, if you didn't eat my flesh and drink my blood, you die in heaven. You will not have a, a, well, the eternal life. Ah, oh, this man want to do us the vampire. Mm -mm -mm. They run away. The same things. You cannot always standing there preaching the bless, blessing, blessing, prophesize. I'm telling you, you'll see that blessing, no healing. No, 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 no. We need something can hit someone so he can repent, do the repentance, confess, put his life regarding the true way of God being chosen. Do you understand? So you can see the people wearing tight all the body. I don't know. They are going into the church to worship God. Which God? Let us read the scripture. Amen. Popularity is a bad thing. Money, bad things. We're going to talk about money. Amen. Chant him for a thousand years. The angel throw him into, throw him 
throw him into the abyss. Locked him and sealed him so that he could not deceive the nation anymore until the thousand years were over. After that, he must be let loose after a little while. Verse 4. Then I saw thrones. Did you hear that? I saw thrones. This throne. Amen. Then I saw thrones, and those who sat on them were given the power to judge. I also saw the souls of those who had been executed because they had proclaimed the truth that Jesus revealed. Amen. Amen. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Jesus revealed and the word, the word of God. They had not worshipped the beast or its image, nor had they received the mark of the beast on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life and rules as king with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the death did not come to life until the thousand years were over. This is the first, uh, what I can say, this is the first rising of the death. Did you hear that? The first rising of the death. APN greatly blessed are those who are included in this first rising of the death. The second death has no power over them. They shall be priests of God and of Christ. They and they will rule with him for a thousand years. Do you hear that the scripture says? And a thousand years is a millennium. Jubilee, the dispensation of winners. So, you're going to be where? We read last Sunday, 2 Peter chapter 3, from verse 1 until the end. Today we took Revelation chapter 20, from verse 1 to verse 6. Next Sunday we'll start from verse 7 until verse 15. So from here we read those when they keep the command of God. The work regarding his will. They could not receive the mark of the beast here or here. The people thought the mark of the beast will be somewhere in the mall. They are calling the people, come in the mall, go to the this camp. Or oh, uh, what I can say, to clicks to the pharmacy to receive that or what was no. Is the wrong interpretation that started here and introduced the death. You read here to say those when they keep the commandment, those when they work with Christ, they doesn't ever have nothing with that. They doesn't have nothing with the judgment. I stop here for your time to take time to listen on it. So we'll continue on it as we are talking about to be taken away the rapture next Sunday. So you know the key where God manifested his will in the time we are living. God sent his servant prophet not to manifest himself to do what the peoples are doing in the churches with the servant says, servant of God. But he came to proclaim the gospel of time regarding the scripture correctly and the voice of of the trumpet he been shouted, sounded it by him. Do you understand? And the voice of command, he been him also. So those when they reject it, they reject the will of God in the time we are living. Do you understand? It means you reject yourself. Nothing can save you again. So you're going to talk about all of those things and give the scripture so you can understand as the scripture being given to Abraham when Elohim made flesh to him says your seed, your descent, they will suffer in the stranger land in Egypt. And after 400 years, I will come and deliver them. 
the Lord God didn't come like this. He sent a prophet who came with his word that said the Lord and took them from Egypt to the land of promise God gave to Abraham. May the Lord God bless you. Shalom. I really appreciate your presence. I cannot read your name there. Share the message. It's public for everyone to save our soul in this time of darkness we are living. The only things can save us and guide us, avoid our children on those bad programs. The organization of this world is preparing, they are putting, they, they are teaching so the kid can start doing the things of they cannot do on underage is only the word of God. Stand with your daughters. Tell them no. No, 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 no. I don't want that to are doing. No, no, no. My spirit doesn't go with that man is coming here. No, no, no. I don't want. Don't be hypocrite, mother. Don't be a hypocrite, father. God will judge you. It's a judgment. When you are leaving those kids live, uh, uh, living as those things you are seeing in this world. As also we are kids, all of us, but we listen to what our Father tells us regarding the Word of God who created us so we can return on our position we've been before we came in this world. May the Lord God bless you. This is a time we need to return in eternity. Shalom. I love you. Pray for me. I will pray for you. Everything we need in this world because there is richest promise of God that's never fail. Shalom, bye-bye.